Okay. So ScreenFlow is another thing I'm delighted to give them lots of money on. I'm actually ScreenFlowing, as we saw, this particular presentation right here. And it allows you to basically, and it's very hard, record whatever you're doing on your screen. But more so, it then allows you to overlay text or take your mouse and automatically make it ridiculous or zoom into screens because it's also got basically a basic video editor built into it. But, um, but it's really built for creating little tutorial things. So here's an example. My father sent me a message the other day saying, hey, I'd like to, um, you know, basically, how do I upload these files for podcasting, I'm which I've been doing. So, here's so all I did was just record my screen doing something for my father. So step one is um, and you'll see it's like just platform, click through and I'm just talking him through it. And, then from there, um, and of course, I could have done that by, you know, taking screen grabs and like writing it all out. But this way, I literally spent 45 seconds. I clicked the upload to YouTube button. A minute later, I had a link. I gave him this and it was both easier for him to follow through visually the steps that were needed to complete the task and also it you know, made my life way easier. So, so you can use it for really simple basic things that are just done for one person because it takes you like literally a minute to record one of these in real time. Um, and these of course I'm not editing and producing but if you want to be a little bit more complicated you can of course go deeper like that. But yeah, all it is is just here's what I'm doing on the screen. Is it a paid? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'll come back to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's basically, if you were to take PowerPoint and do a screen record, it's the same thing, just easier. Yeah, and you can do it across any application. So here's a thing I shouldn't tell you about, but I do, which is sometimes when I'm in like a call with a vendor or something like that, mm -hmm. um, and I'm using their Zoom account, and so I don't actually have access to the video, but I'm like, oh, actually, I really want to be able to go back to that in case we have a disagreement later. I turn on the screen recording software and then I just upload it to YouTube unlisted um, or private. But it's for me, it just like to have that archive of like some of those conversations, I find ridiculously helpful um, just to say like, oh, for me, let me get that in there. Um, and also it's really great for any time you're doing a presentation because essentially at the end of this presentation here today, I'm gonna have what looks exactly like a webinar. Like, you know, like here is what I did on the screen and it's recording me right here and basically I have a webinar and, uh, and it's done. And then all I do is I cut the top and tail, upload it to YouTube and, and mission accomplished. So it can be a really handy tool like that. I believe you had a question about pricing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just curious how much <coughs> the plans are, if you know. Yeah, so this particular one, which I like uh, used to be cheap and now is not. Now it's like $120, <laughs> um, but I paid for it already. Um, but actually, if you're on a Mac, you can get about 50% of that for totally free through QuickTime, actually. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah right. so if you go into QuickTime, just say like record screen, right, yeah. you'll get all of that. The only thing you're not going to get is the pieces at the end where you come in and, and get the editor. So you'll see here, basically, it's giving you very much like a standard. Uh, you know, video editor with like this up here, the slides here. Um, and what's really nice about that is one, you can actually separate out my video things. You can get rid of this little recording if you don't want it um, or move it around or resize it or whatever. Um, but the, the really simple thing, the, the one thing I will reliably do is I'll just go into here and say, it's actually kind of hard to see your mouse on a screen recording. It's just, you know, by the time you compress that video, super hard to make out. So if you just go up here, you'd say like, oh, actually, I want to make my mouse comically large. Now the mouse is comically large. And actually, how about every time someone clicks it, it does like a fancy, like a little radar thing or like, there we go. Oh, sorry, I'm hitting the wrong things because that's what demos are all about. Like it just does like a little thing, so it's now gonna like you know make like a like a flash like that. Yeah. Um, or you can also get it to say like show the keyboard stroke. So if I had typed anything through this demo, it would actually show the text of that that you typed right there in the bottom, so people can really follow along. And so all the things that would be otherwise invisible, actually you can start making visible through the course of this little video you've made. So that's that's where it starts getting worth for me the money over the pre. -ver free version there. 
Um, but yeah, it's it's basically made me seem like a support genius. They're like, oh, you must have spent two hours of creating this beautiful custom video just for me. And I'm like, actually, it was literally two and a half minutes. Like, that's kind of the lazy person I am. But, but this is one of my key tools for just support. And it's available on, uh, on Windows as well? Yeah, this also has a Windows version. There's also another version on Windows called Camtasia which is quite popular, might be cheaper, and is yeah. probably very similar. Camtasia. Yeah. Oh, sorry, what's the we one use, you did? We use Cloud App. Oh. Um, yeah. Mainly when I was sitting in support, it was just really easy because then at the end, you also get a link, so they upload it mm -hmm. as well, and you can share it out. But I, I don't think there's these kind of really cool features with, you know, enlarging the, the mouse and everything, and yeah. it's great. Those are nice to have, but yeah, I think fast and quick and easy solutions are just always, that to me is the win.